Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another new makeup releases video slash will I buy it. I was going through my list of published videos on YouTube and my Instagram post and I didn't realize how long it had been since I posted a will I buy it slash new makeup release video so it has been busy but quite relaxing my kids just got back or just ended their spring break a couple of days ago or last week so I really spent about a week and a half off of YouTube just so I can spend time with my kids and stuff. That is probably why I haven't released a or I haven't published a new makeup releases video in a while so this video is going to be consisting of new makeup releases from the end of April rolling into the few weeks, first few weeks of May. I'm not going to go through all the stuff that I missed from April 12 until present day today. So, so that's going to be a super super long video and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the other new makeup releases that has been released during the time that I was away. Anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rama. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to sit down and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have not done so already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell. So you guys can always stay posted whenever I upload a new video here on my channel. So if you guys want to hear all about the new makeup that's being released for the end of April towards the few, first few weeks of May, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I actually kind of moved aside, so because the last video, I always tend to forget to move to the side, so I have enough room on the screen to put up any images that I need to put up and show for you guys. But if you guys are new to my channel, uh, and if you guys are new to my new makeup release videos, class where I buy videos, I always start off with the announcement, then go through the products that I am going to be passing over or thinking about, and then end up the video with the products that are going to be on my wish list class to buy list and also i wanted to cut it to 10 mood one for all of the photos and information that you guys will be seeing and hearing here in this video i will always have her instagram handles listed down below as well as the youtubers that inspired me to do this video samantha march and andrea Mitigliano. the link to this channel and the latest uh, will i buy it videos will always be in the description box below so be sure you guys check that out Okay, so I'm going to try to breeze through these videos. I know that my new makeup releasing videos are really, really long because I tend to talk a lot and there's just so many products to talk about. We're going to try to breeze through this. Now, I'm going to first start off with the announcement and there's only one announcement that I wanted to share with you guys and I think I touched up on this in my last new makeup release video. I'm not quite sure. But this is happening right now at Sephora. This is the Sephora Spring Bonus Sale. So this happens, I think we have this sale every twice a year, I believe. But this is for the spring and for the Rouge members, um, I'm not a VIB Rouge member, but for the VIB Rouge members, the sale start, started actually, it's already starting and it ends in, on March 6th. And you get 20% off and then for the VIB members, you uh, it starts on May 2nd and it's going to end May 6th and it's going you're going to get 15% off. And then for the insider, the beauty insiders, which is what I am, the sale starts on May 2nd and ends on May 6th. Same at the VIB members and it, the only difference is that you're going to get 10% off your entire purchase. So if you guys are members for to Sephora, um, whether you're VIB Rouge, VIB or a beauty insider, definitely take advantage of this sale because it's very rare that Sephora does a big sale like this and you know 20%, 15%, 10% are a great sale so take advantage of that because I know I am. Let me know in the comments down below if you end up buying anything from this sale. would really love to hear from you guys. Okay so now that we are done with the announcement we can now move on to the product that I'm going to be passing over or the product that I'm thinking about. So the first one is from Guerlain. I think I'm saying that right. It's from Guerlain Cosmetics and they're coming out with the test terracotta skin highlighting stick and the face palette so this is called the endless love collection so it's just about the highlighter stick it says it is a concentrate of sun-kissed radiance for an ultra easy application it bathes the skin in pearlescent reflex to illuminate and warm up this complexion and it'll come in four different shades and it only says coming soon in may it'll be available on the girl on and sephora website okay so there's no price information 
on this product. So I'm gonna be putting this on for right now I'm gonna be putting putting this on my actually you know what I'm probably gonna be putting the highlighter stick on my patch list or I'm gonna pass over the highlighter stick because I don't really use highlighter stick I've never really used it but for the highlighter palette it looks like it's gonna come with a bronzer and some kind of highlighter slash do a uh, slash blush duo in the palette so i'm gonna be putting that palette on my wish my thinking about list just because i don't really know the price range of this although it is from galon so i'm thinking that it's gonna be some kind of very luxurious luxury priced makeup brand i've never personally tried anything from galon so i really can't tell you guys how the formula is and everything but i've heard quite a few good things about this product this brand so I will keep you guys posted on that. Also, if you guys are new to my videos, uh, my new makeup releases videos, anytime there is no price that I don't mention any prices or I don't mention any date because it wasn't really available from the time I was um, filming this um, and it does become available while, while I'm editing this, I will always have anything that I missed out if I find it in the description box below. So be sure you guys are always checking in the description box because any information that I miss will be down there. So be sure you guys are checking, checking that out. Okay, next up is from Huda Beauty and it looks like they're coming out with the Not Your Mama's Pantyhose. So this is a body highlighter and it is a liquid uh, highlighter. So it says it blurs in perfection and adds a stunning sun-kissed tint to the skin. It's transfer sweat and water resistant. Water-based formula with light reflecting pearl pigment that give the most insanely smooth glossy finish. So this is going to be available in three shades and it will retail for $49. And this is going to be available in on May 3rd. So I'm filming this on April 30th. So today is Tuesday. But I'm going to be publishing this. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to publish this tomorrow, which is a Wednesday or a Friday. Because I usually publish my new makeup releases video on a Monday or a Friday. But I've been going through a lot lately. So the publishing schedule might be a little off. But for sure, it'll be... This video will be up either Wednesday or Friday. Huda Beauty is also coming out with the Nymph NYMPH Blur and Glow Brush that will retail for $33. Okay, so I will definitely be passing over the brush because I can't see myself spending $33 on a brush that I, you know, probably won't be using. But I'm pretty sure that if the brush goes hand in hand with the Glow product. Now, I must admit, that this body glow or this liquid highlighter looks beautiful and I know that body glow, body oils, everything like that, it's so trending right now and it's, I think it's perfect for the summer. I actually want to try a body oil or some kind of liquid highlight, liquid body highlighter. So I'm going to be putting this specific highlight, uh, body glow highlighter on my thinking about list. Maybe if I go in the stores and swatch it and see how I feel about it, I'll let you guys know. But the swatches on these ladies' legs look stunning, especially all of three three of these legs look beautiful all three shades look stunning so i think i'm going to be putting this on my thinking about list and we'll let you guys know if i end up purchasing it okay next up is from bh cosmetics and i mentioned this i think last month or no last makeup release video new makeup release video or the previous makeup release new makeup release video so every month uh, bh cosmetics is releasing a new mini zodiac collection palette they did some kind of warm tone ish eyeshadow palette for the month of april and i thought that was really really lovely i don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing or if they're gonna just keep that throughout that whole certain month or let that be a permanent thing but for this month they're coming out with the toys palette that will include nine color shadows and highlighter palette it's a romantic array of, of shades ranging from rich browns and golden metallics to opulent green hues, matte and shimmered, and one big shadow. So this will retail for $14. So I'm going to go ahead and pat over this palette. Although the brown gold shade looks stunning, I don't really see myself reaching out for these other colors, especially the more cool tone one and the greenish one because I don't really work with green eyeshadows very much. I'm, I'm more into the neutral warm eyeshadow shades. I can't really see myself using this although I will say that the price point is really really good so if you guys are interested in this palette I said you know you guys would def should uh, definitely try it out but 
for me, these are just not the colors that really piqued my interest. Next up is a collaboration with Ofa Cosmetics and Talia, Talia Ma. Okay, according to her Instagram account, Talia or Talia Ma is a singer, songwriter, and YouTuber. Okay, so I've never really heard of this person before, but I think she looks beautiful. But she is collaborating with Ofa Cosmetics to come out with a highlighter. Okay, so I just found a picture photo of the actual highlighter and I am going to say that it looks stunning and it's so so pretty but it is available now today is April 30th so it will be available by the time you guys watch this but it did get released or it's going to be released on April 30th which is today when, when I'm filming this and this is going to retail for $35 so it says it's a limited edition and it's going to have two shades the first one is Covent Garden Highlighter which is a scene stealing champagne rose and then the other one is called Soho Highlighter which is a sparkling champagne peach so the swatches of this, these two highlighters look beautiful and I think I'm going to be putting this on my wish list. Specifically the Soho one because I tend to be, I tend to gravitate more towards the more champagne shades of a highlighter. I think this would suit my skin tone. I think that they're both beautiful but for me personally I would, I'm very much interested in the Soho one. Over cosmetic highlighters are so so good. The formula is so beautiful and so buttery and they're so easy to work with, so easy to blend, so highly highly recommend the, the highlighters I own the Odeo Drive one and it's just so beautiful. But yeah, I'm very very interested in this highlighter. I'm probably going to be putting the Covent Garden highlighter which is the more rose gold shade on my Passover lid because I don't really gravitate towards rose colored highlighters but the Soho one is really really beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up buying any of these highlighters which one would you get or which one do you, did you end up getting. Next up on my past over thinking about list is from Too Faced so they came out with the crystal whip shimmering eyeshadow veil so these are shimmering whip eyeshadow formula created with a unique blend of pigments and suspended multicolored pearls that can be used on the face and lips for 12 hours. It is lightweight and it has a reflective sparkle. So these are going to be for $22 each. It's going to be available in six different shades. And it is available now on the Sephora website. So these look very, very stunning. And if I were to get any of these, I would probably end up getting the more champagne, like more the lightest shade. I think this, I don't know if the name is on here, but I would get the very first one. Uh, I'm gonna enter the picture, but that, it's the shade that I'm gravitating towards more and also the more bronzy, dark bronzy shade looks beautiful as well. And $22 for a shimmering eyeshadow veil is pretty decent coming from Too Faced. I've never really tried any of these so I'm very interested in how the formula is and all that so I will, will be putting some of these on my wish list. And then the only reason why I've added this on my thinking about list because some of these are on my thinking about list or passing over list. I think the pop, pop the bubble is the one that's more champagne but that's the one I'm getting more towards to and top tap that. Alright, next up is from Ulta Beauty. So, Ulta Beauty has a new brand coming to the store. This is the Uoma? U-O-M-A Beauty. So, it says, it draws inspiration from a deep and vivid Afro heritage. Yeah, mixes this with fierce modernity, 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 modernity to create new possibilities so it is a colorful and it is a fun for everyone so they're gonna have foundations concealers so the foundation is actually going to be available in 51 different shades and the foundation is going to retail for 39 dollars each they're going to have concealers which will have 18 shades and each of them will retail for 25 dollars each the double take sculpt and stove double ended con contour and highlighter stick available in six shades which is going to be retail retailing for 40 dollars each the afro dcx Clear Powder Ink Liquid Eyeliner is going to retail for $18 each. And then they're going to have 16 shades of matte lipstick which is retail, which will retail for $24, $24 each. And they're going to have the 6 shades of lip glosses which will retail for $22 each. A metallic sparkly lipstick in 6 shades which will retail for $26 each. And the Black Magic which is uh, 3 different eyeshadow palettes retail, retailing for $44 each. So each of these items are all cruelty free. And it is available now on the Ulta website and will be available on May 5th in stores. 51 shades for foundation is 
so so awesome i think the packaging of this brand looks so beautiful and colorful and fun like they said and very very clean i am interested in the found some of these products so I'm going to be putting all of these on my thinking about list just because I've never tried this brand before because it is fairly new to the, I don't know if it's new to the makeup industry but it is new to Ultra Beauty, so it's coming to Ultra Beauty. But I am interested in trying out the foundation and the, the lip product. I'm going to pass over the eyeshadow palette just because none of those colors really appeal to me but for the other products I will be putting them on either my thinking about list or wish list. Let me know down in the comments below if you tried any of these products before. If you've ever heard of this brand before, let me know in the comments down below. And if you end up purchasing any of this, let me know in the comments how you guys like this one. Okay, next up is from Fastalia and they're coming out with the product called Hydration Bay. So this is a two-in-one face mask that contains high bubbles a patented technology that encapsulates active ingredients. It can be left on overnight as an intensive hydration treatment or used in the morning as a glow-inducing makeup base. So it said the blue bubbles, high bubbles, serves you a nourishing blast of antioxidant hibiscus oil, drenched dry skin and smoothing out uneven texture and gives you a luminous complexion. It has hyaluronic acid, tamarind, which boosts uh, firmness and elasticity, hibiscus, which plumps and tones your skin. So this is going to retail for $62 and it says it's part of the new line for Starly Prive, for Starly Prive, which will have products with limited quantities and exclusive on their website. So this is going to be available on March 7th on the first Starly website. Okay, so I'm going to be putting this on my thinking about list because I have grown to love for Starly and I actually have tried their rose mist and I have a funny story to tell you guys but I'll save that in another video. But this seems interesting and the claims of this seem very interesting as well. So I will let you guys know whether or not I end up purchasing this but I love trying out anything that will give me hydration and will moisturize my skin and all that good stuff. Definitely I'm going to be putting this on my thinking about list. It is a little pricey but it is for Starly so I will let you guys know whether I end up purchasing this but I am very very interested in this product. Next up is from Glam Glow so they are coming out with the Berry Glow. This is a creamy nutrient dense shooting moisture mask formulated to instantly boost skin health and restore radiance. It says replenishing hyaluronic acid and jojoba oil pair up to hydrate, plump, and protect skin's moisture barrier. It has probiotics that help balance skin microbiome or an antioxidant rich superfood berry blend nourishes packed with bees root and hibiscus. So this is going to retail for $49 and it is available now on the Glam Glow website. Okay, so I'm going to be putting this on my thinking about list. For some reason, anything that's new to the skincare community piques my interest, especially those who claim that it's going to hydrate your skin and all that stuff. I absolutely love, like I said, anything that hydrates my skin or will hydrate my skin and will moisturize my skin. It's an A plus for me. Definitely, I'm interested in this one. I've always wanted to try Glam Glow products and I've never really gotten the chance to. So, yeah, I'll let you know whether I end up purchasing this. I don't know if it's going to be available on the Sephora website or the Sephora stores. I'll keep you guys posted on that one, but very, very interested in this one. So, I'm going to be putting this on my thinking about list. Okay, next up is from Jeffree Star and it's basically a sneak peek. Apparently it's coming out with a new highlighter. I've never tried any of the Jeffree Star highlighter but I've heard so many great things about the formula so it says coming soon. There's no date. Not much information I can give you guys. That's very very interesting. It says that icy glow so I'm gonna get that kind of what the name is gonna be. We'll see but anything that's coming soon and if I can I'll keep you guys posted and we'll update you guys in the next new makeup release video. Okay, next up is from Natasha Denona and she's coming out with an extension to the Bloom Blush and Highlighting Palette. So this is the Tan Bronze and Glow Palette inspired by the Diamond and Blush. Natasha Denona's Ultimate Glass 
can go to so this will include four new shades one cream and three powders so it's that blush and blonde powder glow cream base glow impact powder and it's a super glow i don't know if that's the shade okay so this is going to retail for 55 dollars each and it's going to be permanent this is going to be available on may 3rd on the natasha denona website as well as the sephora website and beauty list website okay so the packaging of this product looks beautiful and although the shades look stunning and gorgeous the highlighters look beautiful the swatches looks amazing i am gonna go ahead and pass over this because 55 dollars is a lot of money to spend on a face palette um, i know it is natasha denona and it is pricey but i can't really justify myself spending $55 on a face palette. So I'm gonna pass over this face palette just because of the price, but I will say that the overall face palette, the swatches look beautiful and it looks stunning. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up purchasing this product and let me know how you guys like them. Next up is from Cover Effect and this is gonna be available on the Ulta website and it is available now. Cover Effect is coming out with the monochromatic blush and bronzer duos. Each duo has two finishes and matte which is a silky matte and shimmer. Each pressed powder is hybrid formulated with a unique blend of skin emollient that gives the skin perfecting airbrush effect that never looks cakey or chalky. So it says the coated pigments of the cream like powder allow for supreme blendability, silky texture and easy application creating an airy breathable veil of color. So this is vegan and cruelty free. So it says it'll be available in eight variations, six blush shade duo and two bronzer duo. Each will retail for $38 each and this is going to be permanent. So this is available now on the Ulta website as well as the Sephora website and it's going to be available in stores both I believe at Ulta and Sephora in May. There's no specific date so I'll keep you guys posted on that one. Okay so I must say that these look stunning. I think they look beautiful. I'm gonna be passing over the more purple shade and the more mauve and lightest pinkish shade because I don't really think I would gravitate toward that but for the more bronzier looking shade I'm probably gonna be putting that on my thinking about list and I want to see if I can try to go in stores and swatch them and see how I like them and base my decision on that one. But they do look stunning and it is $38 but it is from Cover Effect but the formula looks beautiful, the packaging looks beautiful and the blush and bronzer the world looks beautiful. So I will keep you guys posted on those shades but for the ones that I mentioned that I'm not gonna get, those are just personal preference but let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up purchasing any of these products. Okay next up is from Tom Ford and he is coming out with the Soleil Flawless Glow Foundation with an SPF of 30. So it says this is a lightweight gel serum foundation with sheer to medium coverage and a satin finish that glows without adding shine. So it hydrates skin and protects from UV rays and pollution. Features a unique moisture complex of red fruit extracts including watermelon, lychee seeds, and apple. They increase water held by skin cells, gives the skin a healthy looking fresh glow and provides protection to provide protection. This is going to be available in 20 different shades and it's going to retail for $87. That is expensive for a foundation so you guys know that I'm going to be passing over this product. The packaging of this product looks very very similar to the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation with a little dropper that I will tell you guys. But the bottle looks luxurious and all that but I can't justify spending $87 on a foundation no matter what the claims are. I know it is Tom Ford but it is very expensive so I'm going to pass over that. The claim sounds amazing. I've never really tried a gel the um, foundation before so that sounds pretty interesting but personally and to save money I'm going to be passing over this product. Okay next up is from Way and they are coming out with the After Sun Body Soother. So this is a cooling body moisturizer spray. Instantly hydrates sun exposed skin. It has aloe leaf juice that restores moisture and provides soothing cooling relief to sun exposed skin. Cucumber extract contains cooling properties and provides an antioxidant benefit. Rosehip oil rich in essential fatty acids and vitamins to help hydrate dry skin. Scented with summer whey, a blend of cohesion coconut and pineapple. So this is limited edition and it's going to retail for $25 each and it just is coming soon online at Sephora. So I am quite interested in this. I'm just going to be putting this 
hard my thinking about it because I want to see how it is. Maybe if they're available in stores, I'll try to swatch it and see how it is. But the claims of this stamp seem very, very promising and very interesting. So I'm definitely, definitely interested in this product. I'll keep you guys posted on that one. Next up is from BH Cosmetics. So this is the Santa Fe eyeshadow palette. This one includes 20 mattes and shimmery shades. And it's going to be double $22 each. That's regular price, $26. So I get the $22. It's like a limited edition uh, price. But regularly, it's, regular price is $26. So this is cruelty free and vegan. So this is going to be available on May 1st. So by the time you guys see this, it would be available online at on the BH Cosmetics website. So I'm going to go ahead and pack over this eyeshadow palette. I will say that the packaging and the layout of this eyeshadow palette is very, very unique. And interesting, I like the little rose accent to it, but I really can't see myself gravitating towards most of these colors. When I purchase eyeshadow palettes, I like to purchase eyeshadow palettes that I know I will get most use out of. Definitely will be passing over this, but if you guys end up purchasing this, let me know in the comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I love hearing from you guys, your thoughts and your feedback on any of these products that I mentioned. Comment down below in any of these products that I mentioned. Okay, next up is from Glossier and they're coming out with the Bubble Wrap Iron Lip Cream. So this says this is formulated to give those two zones the moisture and protection that they require. Comes from a combination of some of nature's strongest hydrators, hyaluronic acid, squalane, and avocado oil, antioxidant, rich blueberry extract and a unique featherweight texture that delivers these key ingredients where and when you need them for the most. It says under eyes and lips appear fresh, smooth, and hydrated. It is light as duck, water and oil emulsion, doesn't feel sticky or pull under your makeup. So this is going to retail for $26 and it is available now on the Glossier website. Okay, so this sounds pretty interesting and although it does sound pretty interesting i'm gonna be putting this on my thinking about list i do love under eye creams and think it helps a lot with the puffiness underneath your eyes and all that but i've never really tried anything from glossier i'm gonna be putting this on my thinking about list just because i'm not too familiar with the brand but i've heard a lot of great things about this brand i'm gonna be putting this on my thinking about list I got two more products to share with you guys and then we can move on to the wish list. Next up is from Murad Skincare. They are coming out with the Replenishing Multi-Acid Peel. It says resurfacing mid recovery in this daily by face peel that rejuvenates and nourishes skin for a vibrant glow. It's exfoliated. It has AHA, BHA, and TXA. It says smooth and brighten. It nourishes. It says it has adaptogenic holy basil and omega rich oil defend and strengthening skin surfaces and it says radiant and vibrancy and healthier looking skin so this is going to be available on may 14th online on the sephora and auto website and then it's going to be available on june 1st in stores there's no price for this so i'll keep you guys posted on the price um if i do see the price while i'm editing this i'll list it down in the description box so this sounds pretty interesting um, i'm going to be putting this on my thinking about lids. I've never tried anything from your ad, but I know a lot of people have said great things about this skincare brand and the claims of this sound very, very interesting. So I do have a resurfacing skincare product that's from the Kate Somerville. You guys know how much I love that product. So this, um, this seems pretty interesting. So I'll keep you guys posted on this one, but I'm going to be putting this on my thinking about list. Okay, so the last product on my past thinking about list is from Starbucks. Starbucks is bringing back the s'mores frappuccino and i don't think i've ever tried that but i know probably my kids have and if you guys know me personally i love love starbucks i absolutely love it but they are coming out with the s'mores life collection and it's just for a contest which also includes an exclusive the s'mores frappuccino sip so it says it's a four liquid lip shade so it says the four liquid lip shades are called chocolicious bliss marshmallow glow Campfire Spark and Gram Glam. The names are super cute. I am going to be putting this on my thinking about it just because I don't know who will sell it. Do you think Starbucks is going to sell this? I'm not quite sure. I haven't been in Starbucks in a while. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. And there's also no specific price for this specific product. So I'll keep you guys posted. But it's very, very interesting. I never knew that Starbucks would come out with a lip product let alone a makeup product i must say that the packaging is really really pretty and the shade looks beautiful i'm not quite sure if i'm gonna end up getting it if the price seems 
justifiable but they do look beautiful but i'll keep you guys posted if you know where we can get this let us know in the comments down below because i'm very very interested in this one okay so now that we are done with the product that i'm gonna pass over slash i'm thinking about we can now move on to the final part of this video which is the wish list slash the buy list okay so the first one on my list is from Tide cosmetics and they are coming out with the new big ego mascara so this is a vegan mascara it says plant powered by bubble stew to nourish and condition lash hair so it's confident booster brush Mimics the curves of your lash line to build volume from root to tip. Buildable, clump-free formula allows for multiple coats. And it has a twisted double fiber bristle brush delivers maximum pigment load. The ultra black formula coats each and every lash for extra length and extra volume. So this is going to retail for $23. There's no specific date. It's just it's coming soon to Ultra Beauty. First of all, I love the packaging of this. I love that it's pink. I love pink and the wand of this kind of looks similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but not too much. I love the claims. I think this kind of shape of an hourglass shape for a mascara wand really does a great job with creating volume and length to your lashes. I'm very, very interested in this product. I'm going to be putting this on my wish list. I'm interested in trying this out. I actually love the Tarte Light Camera Lashes mascara. I think that's an amazing mascara. So I'm very, very interested in this one. I will let you guys know whether I'm purchasing this, but I will definitely be putting this on my wish list. Okay, next up is from Sephora. They are coming out with the Sun Safety Kit, and this is going to be up for $39 so it says it's gonna have all these products that'll help you protect yourself from the sun and all that and I believe these are all mini version slash travel size version. Some of these products include the cooler, sun silk drops, Dr. George Zika Pear, Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, a drunk elephant product, a fresh sugar product, a lot of high-end stuff. $39 is not that bad. I'm probably going to be putting this on my wish list. This is a great way for you guys or a great way for anyone to try out these products without splurging on it before they decide, oh, I like this product. You know what I mean? $39 is not that bad. So I'm going to put, be putting this on my wish list. So it says there's also another set called the Bronze Not Burn Kit. And one of the things that they said is that Sephora will donate $25 from the sale of these kits to the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and will donate up to a million dollars. So that is a really great thing. So I love product. I love brand that gives back to certain organizations. I think that's so amazing. Definitely be putting this on my wish list. Oh, and it also says available now in some stores and it is coming soon online to the Sephora website. Okay, so next up on my list is from Kylie Cosmetic. This is very interesting. I did watch her story when she was talking about this and it seems very very interesting so she's coming out with the Kai brow collection the collection will include a brow pencil a brow pomade brow powder duo brow gel and brow highlighter and um, a brow brush so this is available now on the Kylie Cosmetics website so I'm pretty interested in the brow pencil simply because I really just use brow pencils I rarely use brow pomade sometimes I go for it but I'm not I don't want to say I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm just, I really prefer brow pencils more. And I'm also interested in the brow highlighters. I think she said that she uses that to clean up her brows, which is really very interesting. Very interested in that. I don't remember seeing a price for this, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere. Um, I'll list down those prices down in the description box below. Okay, next up is another collaboration with Colourpop and Makeup by Shayla. I know that Makeup by Shayla did come out with a Colourpop cosmetic eyeshadow palette a couple months ago actually and a lot of people have raved about that palette and I have always wanted to try that palette but I've never really gone around to it but now she came up with a new collection with Colourpop cosmetics. I don't remember, I think she only came out with the eyeshadow palette back then. So this one is a whole new collection. So this is the Proceed with Caution collection and again this is the collaboration with makeup by Shayla. So in this collection it will have the eyeshadow palette which will retail for $12, two blushes which will retail for $8 each, two lip bundles which will retail for $12 each, a lip pencil which will retail for $6 each ultra satin liquid lipstick which will retail for $7 each and if you guys want the full collection 
the full PR collection that will retail for $54, which is not that bad, really. Okay, so I am definitely interested in some of these products. So some of these products will go to my wish list. The packaging, the overall packaging for this collection is very, very pretty, very bright, very colorful. I like the whole idea behind it. I absolutely love the eyeshadow palette. I think I just recently watched an IGTV episode from Kristen Dominique and she used this palette and the look came out so good and yeah I'm very interested in this eyeshadow palette so I'm definitely going to be putting this on my wish list. $12 for an eyeshadow palette is definitely not that bad and the formula for Colourpop eyeshadow palettes are really really great. So I will definitely be putting this on my wish list. Probably be ending up buying this because the price range is quite price range is not that bad and this watch it looks beautiful. Really really love that beautiful mustard yellow color. I think that's stunning. The lip product, I'm very much interested in the, the Speed Up shade. Um, I think that shade really does. I feel more drawn to that shade rather than the Glow Down shade. It has more of a brownie reddish tone to it. I'm very horrible with describing shades. But that shade looks beautiful. The blushes look beautiful as well. But yeah, so I'm definitely gravitating towards the eyeshadow palette for sure. I think it looks stunning. But all of these products, the prices for all of these products are very, very good and very affordable. Colourpop Cosmetic brand, uh, Colourpop Cosmetic formulas are great so if you guys want to try out an inexpensive brand whose formula is really, really good, try out Colourpop because they are amazing. Okay, next up is from MAC Cosmetics. I actually wanted to touch on this collection when it first came out like when they first started talking about it and then i totally forgot this is the aladdin collection aladdin the real life aladdin is coming out in theaters i believe this summer will smith is one of the characters but they're coming out with a couple of products in this collection so they're coming out with a highlighter some lip glosses some lipstick pigments and all that these will all be available on may 16th online on the mac cosmetic website so i'm not quite sure if i'm very interested in the eyeshadow palette they look pretty neutral but i'm very interested in the highlighter for sure and the bronzer i think the bronzer and the highlighter look stunning as well as some of the lip product really more towards the more nude shade i love the spice liner and the spice liner princess incognito lipstick and diamond in the rough lip gloss so that combo this combo you see in this picture right here looks stunning so i'm very very interested in that one and i'm also interested in the burgundy liner larger lipstick and jeweled lip gloss i think that looks stunning as well that combo looks beautiful so those uh, two combos and the bronzer and highlighters i'm very interested in so i'm only putting that on my wish list i don't really know the price for each of these if i find them while I'm editing them, I'll definitely be put, put them in the description box. So make sure you guys check that out. But definitely interested in these products. I think the packaging is really, really beautiful. I love Aladdin. I think Aladdin is just an amazing one. Uh, amazing movie. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want or uh, wishing to purchase any of these products from this collection. Okay, another release from MAC Cosmetics is actually a... I'm not quite sure if this is a limited edition, but it says MAC Cosmetics is celebrating 25 years of the Viva Glam anniversary. They revamped the original red Viva Glam lipstick with a special edition ruby glitter packaging. The packaging is limited edition and it's going to be available May 1st, so by the time you guys see this video, it will be available on the MAC Cosmetic website. It's also said that 100% of the proceeds go to the MAC AIDS fund and help support people affected by the HIV AIDS of all ages, all races, and all genders. So again, another amazing thing that 100% of these proceeds go to this organization, which is really, really amazing. So definitely be putting this on my wish list. I think the packaging is really, really beautiful. I love red lipstick. I think red lipstick really defines a woman and her strength definitely i'm interested in this um i don't remember seeing a price for this so i'll keep you guys posted on that price but definitely interested in this product okay so another thing that i want to add up to my wish list for sure is the sneak peek from anastasia beverly hills it said that she is coming out with a new foundation it's a liquid dewy skin like and doesn't need to be set very interesting it says it'll have 50 different shades and she's also coming out with a new eyeshadow primer so it says about the product about the foundation it is vegan gluten free alcohol free and clinically dermatologist ophthalmologist tested which is non-cosmogenic suitable for sensitive skin and it is long wearing no flashback and it is cruelty free 
So this will be available in August. So this is a very, very early sneak peek. Very, very interested to see how this foundation is going to be, especially being that it's claiming it you don't need to set it. So I've never tried a foundation that you can't set. I've heard of the Makeup Forever where it sets itself. Um, I've never tried that, but that seems interesting too. So very interested in a foundation that you don't need to set. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys are curious about this foundation and if you think you're going to end up buying this foundation or trying it out. Okay, next up is from Morphe and they're coming out with the felt tip liquid liner. So I don't think Morphe has ever come out with an eyeliner before, but it says it's intense pigment meets bomb position with the long wearing waterproof liner that won't fade much or transfer so this is going to retail for $12 and they're also coming out with a liquid liner so it's a pack precise application and unstoppable semi matte color also retailing for $12 it's going to be available in three different shades and then they're also coming out with an eyeliner pencil that long wearing waterproof matte color that glides on and won't fade much or transfer that's going to retail for nine dollars each and it's gonna be available in two different shades so it is available now available now on the Morphe website so i'm actually interested in both the felt tip and the liquid liner because those are really the kind of liner that i really gravitate for so i'm very very interested in that and i'm quite interested that it comes with two different shades not quite sure what that's about but very interested in this product so i'll let you guys know whether i end up purchasing this one but definitely interested in the felt tip and liquid liners so the last product that i wanted to share with you guys is from Too Faced it says for all of the born this way fans get ready for the creamiest buildable full coverage most naturally flawless multi-use complexion powder so this is a makeup powder just said coming soon so i love trying out new face powders i think they're really really amazing and a really good essential for your makeup routine the packaging of this product looks stunning and very simple but very too faced so i'm interested in this product i'm gonna be putting this on my wish list and keep you guys posted on this one but i'm interested to hear more about this if i hear more about this i'll definitely update you guys and i'll definitely update you guys in my next makeup tutorial um, in my next new makeup release video. I'll keep you guys posted on this and we'll touch base on this in my next new makeup release video. Yeah, very interested in this product and I'm very interested on how well this will do on certain skin types or on all skin types. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I'm losing my voice because I've talked for so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below which of these products that I mentioned in this video are you interested in? Which of these products are you going to be putting on your wish list or passing over, thinking about, or purchasing? Let me know in the comments below. I would really love to hear from you guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and for all the amazing comments and the sweet comments. I really do appreciate it and all the thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe down below and hit that post notification bell so you guys never miss out on my videos and please be part of my YouTube family. So I would really love for you guys to be part of my YouTube family. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.